On the last one, we cleared the first couple of floors of this Shotgun Messiah Tier 5 POI. And we talked a little bit about the impending Alpha 21 streamer weekend coming up soon. So by the time this video has posted, we'll probably know if uh, the upcoming weekend, if you're watching all this in real time, will be the streamer weekend or not. So keep your eyes peeled on the 7 Days website or... Ideally, if I can remember to get around to it, the YouTube's channel thingy, Majigger, where people post words and pictures and stuff. Because I will definitely let you know when I know when we're going to do things. Assuming I'm allowed to, of course, because, you know, that is a thing. <laughs> Although, in this case, I mean, I'm pretty sure as soon as the devs know, everyone else will know. And it'll be okay to let everyone know, because, you know... You want to build up some excitement for it. I mean, literally, that's the point of this whole thing anyway. So, just keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you know when I know more about Alpha 21. I can tell you, honestly, I am very excited to play it. I mean, if I'm going to be slightly critical of things, it's been a long time coming. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's really easy for me to say, Come on, guys, why does it take so long to, to make a new version of the game? But I'm not a developer. I don't know all the things that they're having to deal with. Like, seriously. If that sounds like me being an apologist, an apologizer, apologizing for them, it's really not my intention. My intention is to say, I'm not a video game developer. I literally don't know what is involved in making a video game. I mean, I can armchair quarterback with the rest. Probably not with the best, but with the rest. And I can come up with some stuff and be like, yeah, this is probably, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that and all those things. But at the end of the day, I've never made a video game. And I know that they have uh, changed how they're doing some of their, their development. So, you know, it is what it is, all right? At the very least, I have gotten years of enjoyment out of this game. And at this rate, I mean... I expect to continue to get years of enjoyment. And that's not a criticism because the development's so long. I mean, how long have you enjoyed playing Skyrim? That game is over 10 years old. Did you know that? And I still enjoy the crap out of that game. I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't played it in a minute. But I would totally sit down and lose myself for a couple of hours. Like, no problem in that game. I mean, it's Skyrim. It's fantastic. And in the same voice in the same tone in the same wow that guy's really moving the same way that i say i love me some skyrim dude i love me absolutely love me some seven days to die different kind of games not saying one's better than the other can't even really compare them they're just different kind of games but hey i fully intend to continue to enjoy this game and so i will so let's keep going here. Enough talking about Alpha 21 and being excited about playing it. I mean, there will be more to say about that before long, I'm sure. So I'll try and save some of that for a later time. For now, we need to get out into this area, which is going to kind of put us in a sort of tricky spot in this place. I mean, we're kind of wrapping ourselves around here to some kind of funky spots, so... Let's try to be stealthy about things. My bad. Yeah, I knew that one wasn't going to work. I took the shot anyway. It's only a, an iron arrow, so I really don't care. Oh, guys. Here, I'm trying to be... Oh, we got a sneaky, sneaky crawler there. Hey. Um. Hi. Okay. Oh, that that's a good reminder. Thank you for that. Let's go ahead and take another vitamin. And I know, I should probably just pop both of them and probably good, but that's all right. I'm not worried about it right now. Oh, guys, those ones are just a problem. Hey, I was actually just seeing if I could, like, plink him in the leg or something. Here, can I plink you in the leg? Yeah. They're still not slowing down. I was trying to see if I can get them into hobbling mode, but that... That didn't seem to be a thing. Now, there are still more scientists, laboratorianists, whatever zombies are around. We just got to find them. Um, I guess just for the giggles, 
I'm trying to remember, do we pop out over here? Yeah, we're going to end up coming in through that way. I don't want to go that way just yet. Had a nice long conversation yesterday about following the intended path of the POIs. And I still intend to do that today. Hi. That bird, not having a good time. And I'm good with that. If nothing else, it's very satisfying to kill the vultures. So I'm going to continue to do that. Hello. You just kind of popped into existence there. Oh, he did not like that. Are you going to... You're not staggered, though. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to place some blocks here just because... Um, that's why. And then... Um, <laughs> Oh, I can't place one there still. That's There it is. Okay. I was going to say, I should be able to. Don't be wonky on me. And here we'll just break those off if there's any more to break off. Apparently there's not. Okay. That's cool. All right. I, I thought there were more breaky folly spots than that one. Where did all these guys go? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oops, I missed. My bad. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, wow, that was a total whiff right there. Oh, dude. Oh, this is the guy we shot earlier. Ooh, that one. That one would have stung. Just saying. Okay. Take that arrow back since you brought it. There we go. Not getting very good shots here. I don't know. My aim is way off. Hi, how you doing? I need a better bow is really what it comes down to. I need more mods in here. I mean, if we look at this bow... Yeah, I went... Basically all, all velocity. We do have one aimy thing, but I don't know. It's not great. Could use another one. I, I'd like a stabilizer in here. How you doing, everyone? Oh, I guess I need another arrow. It's kind of fun going through a tier 5 using a wooden bow, effectively, and iron arrows. I mean, if this were... Anything other than the biome it is, this would probably be a little trickier. But honestly, this is kind of a cakewalk right now. I mean, look at that. How you doing? I'm just going to load you up with arrows because, you know, we can. Uh, I think we're carrying motor oil for some unknown reason. So we'll just continue to carry a little more. I mean, whatever. Actually, maybe I do want that guy just to... Here, let's grab... That, oh, we have a bunch. Never mind. Because I know we have some glue. I was just thinking... Hello? Thank you for announcing yourself. I do appreciate that. Because otherwise, that could have been like a sprained or broken leg or something. And that that would be annoying. Let's turn the five duct tape we're carrying into... Some, ni or some, some glue into duct tape. Easy for me to say. Drop that guy. Uh, we're just going to keep eating whatever food we find, more or less. The peas, I think, we'll hold on to for now. We're not using the pusher bot, because, I mean, really. It's kind of useless in this this mod. I mean, it's not... Nope, wrong one. But it kind of is, in a way. I mean, I've had some conversations in the, the video comments about the other turret you can use. The shooty one. And, to a certain degree, that one's also useless. Now, I know... There are upgrades you can give it to increase its accuracy. There are some perks you can invest in. And doing all those things would certainly change the calculation. I'm just kind of going for stagger right now on this guy. Okay. Put that one in his neck, I think. And if we were to do all those things, invest the points, get the right mods, etc., then you know what? Yeah, it probably would be a, a good, viable upgrade. Like, no doubt. But at the same time, I kind of don't think I care. <laughs> I mean, we're doing okay for the most part. We've got, it. We've got some, some kind of hinky moments, I won't lie. We've had some close calls. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Hey, you. I mean, I guess this guy's just going to uh, get stabbed in the face because I'm tired of wasting arrows trying to hit him. 
I don't know, with this mod, I just kind of don't see the point. Like, here's the, here's kind of the wrap up on this mod. I think I've played long enough that I feel like I can kind of talk about, hey, look at that, hunting rifle schematic. No one cares. But I can kind of talk about the mod maybe more generally. And I'm gonna say, before I say anything else, like straight up, that's beer, right? I enjoy the crap out of this mod, really do. But even with the difficulty cranked as high as it can go in terms of the standard game settings, well, I guess technically I didn't increase horde size. I left that, but by default, it's everything is increased for this mod anyway. But just the, the general game difficulty, so the damage that you're going to take, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff, that is as high as it can possibly go right now. This is one of those spots that I like this spot. It's really cool. Because you open this door and you get swarmed and you're like, oh crap, what do I do? Yeah. And you're stuck in here because you didn't think to put a frame down there or you don't have parkour or both. And uh, yeah, it's fun. It's a good time. But Romero mod, straight up, really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It is a different experience from the vanilla game. It's meant to be a different experience from the vanilla game. Oh, you guys can't make it, can you? No, you can't. So it plays very differently. And because of that, you really can't compare it with the vanilla game directly. Obviously, it's a mod for the game, so you can. But I'm just saying, it really truly is such a different experience that you kind of just have to think of them as different things. And so, all that said, Romero mod is massively easier than the vanilla game. Massively so. I mean, maybe if you are not keeping the default Romero mod settings, like if you turn on zombie running and barrel sense and all that, I mean, those are all the things that you can do with the, the vanilla game to make it more challenging, more difficult, more interesting, more exciting, more deathy for you, all those sorts of things. But I didn't want to do that because I really wanted to play the mod the way it's intended to be played. And since it makes some modifications to the difficulty on its own, I figured let's keep that. With the exception of the base game difficulty. This mod, man, I really truly enjoy this mod. It's a lot of fun. It's been, it's been a really good time experiencing something different in this game without going the, um, I don't know without going for a full overhaul, because, I don't know, sometimes I just want a slightly different experience and I don't want to go full overhaul. Other times, I want full overhaul. This was one of those times where I didn't want full overhaul, so here we are. I mean, I'm not saying I'm done. This is not like, hey, I'm now done with this and I'm just wrapping everything up. That's not what's going on here at all. Don't even think that. I mean, we are getting close to the end. And part of that is just because Alpha 21 is coming out of nothing else. I mean, Alpha 21, who knows? That might still be another couple weeks. It might be another month. It might be ready to go the week that this that this video gets posted. I mean, I don't even know. But all that said, this mod is so much easier. Zombies don't run by default. You don't really have feral zombies. Cops aren't spitting. You notice that? It's just a different experience. It really is. I'm gonna take a couple of hits here. It's fine. But all that said, it's been a lot of fun. The massive amount of zombies out and about, especially in the wasteland. I mean, I know it's the wasteland. You have a ton of zombies out there. That's just the way it is. But man, it's been just, it's been bonkers. I've been enjoying that. It's been a lot of fun. Probably should have had the tea instead of the water, but oh well, whatever. Let's get on up to our next obnoxious area. It's going to be beyond here. As we start to get onto the roof, we're going to have to go up a little more to get to the roof, so we're not quite there yet. Sorry. As I stab at that guy, um, wait a minute, I'm all turned around now. Are we going down here? Yeah, I'm all turned around. I, th 
think this is right. Yeah, this looks right. Because there's always a zombie parked right here. We pretty much count on it. And then this gets us to the roof. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So, this is where this guy can make its money. So where are you, little pusher bot? We're going to put you right here. And we're going to very cheekily aim it sort of sideways. And then I think I want a shotgun when we're going up to this spot. Although, realistically, if we're able to do this quietly, we can just... Hi, how you doing? We can tag these guys one at a time. It's going to be hard to hit that guy. Oh, I keep shooting too near these guys and waking them up. Oh, you're crawling. You're awake. Okay. I mean, this is actually a total cakewalk right here, because stealth for the win. It sounds like the drone keeps trying to say something, but it's like stuck or something. I don't know. Where are you? I don't even know where it went. I lost it. Oh, it's up there. Got it. Okay. Thanks for that. It's like, dude, where are you going? Come back. I'm trying to heal you. I know. Appreciate it. Would like a better quality drone just so we could throw some more mods on it. That would be great, but it is what it is right now. Let's just take stock of what we have for a moment. We're going to go to an even worse spot in just a minute. So I just want to make sure we are good to go on everything. I think that basically is about all we can do. Since the drone healed us, we'll go ahead and heal up just fine with whatever that was. Bandage. Something. Actually, here, just for the giggles. Let's go ahead and check everything. There you go. Oh. I guess I should have been carrying those blood bags. Here, we'll just drop these guys. We don't... You don't need to carry them. We'll give you five of those, though. That way we are really stocked and ready to go. I've got now, I was trying to see... I couldn't remember which door that went to. Yeah, it's like a couple floors down. Okay, so blood bags, we're going to leave them. And then we'll go ahead and get on upstairs. And this is where things kind of go sideways. This is, in a way, I think the last few times I've done this POI, I haven't done it the intended way. So it's kind of funny for me to come up here this way. Because I'm kind of turned around. I'm used to coming up here on that side from, from that big silo there. I see the... I see the shadow, but I don't see the bird. So here, let's go ahead and just anger everyone. Actually, we can get a couple couple shots in, I think. Oh, hi. There's a bird right there. And then there's usually a bunch of zombies around, but apparently they don't want to wake up. So we'll go ahead and get this guy here. I mean, I don't know, Gravedigger mod, no one, no one cares. Now let's go ahead and climb up here. I don't remember there being much up here, but... I can check just the same, because I think it's just going to be one box right up on top or something. It is nightfall now, so that's good. That'll add a little extra intrigue to our experience here. Yeah. Got a weapons bag right here. Where did that bird go? I think it just drop down somewhere. Eh, quality 5 iron sledge. No one cares. We'll go ahead and take the scope. That right there obviously is the final loot if you're not familiar with this POI. I have just spoiled it for you. You're welcome. I'm not seeing all the zombies down there that are usually down there, though. That's quite interesting to me. No thanks. No thanks. Did we bring... Oh, I don't think we have one. That's a shame. Because I was planning on going down that way. Yeah, we didn't bring the fall thing. I think there's probably one in the bike, and I just forgot to grab it before we started running around in this place. All right, well, it's going to be what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and finish this place up. We're almost done with it. Got a bow down there. How you doing, sir? Game is starting to run a little laggy-like. Have, have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, let's go ahead and get upstairs. And we'll just use some buckshot. Because that should draw everyone out. 
I think. I don't know where everyone is. I mean, I guess we're not going to get any zombies over here. That is... That is weird. That's not normal. There's usually a boatload of them up here. Um, so you say. I don't see anyone. Here, let's get up here. Yeah, there's no one around. There's usually a whole host of guys on the roof down here. That's really weird to me. Okay. Well, I guess let's uh, go ahead and see what we got. We're going to start with all the things that we can go through first. The ammo piles primarily. Oh, that is just offensive. I don't even want to dignify that. And we'll check the weapons bag, too. Eh, full auto mod, yeah. We could put one of those in a turret, for instance. I think. Alright, let us grab our explosives, and I will also chop open all the boxes. And we'll see what we got as soon as I can find the explosives, because apparently I go explosives blind. There they are. Jeez. Gonna kind of do this in a different order today. We're gonna go through the boxes first, and then we'll use the last explosive. I don't think we need any of those mods, but I've been kind of collecting a few as we go, so whatever, we'll call it good. So let's drop this guy. And then with a little luck, that'll be all we need. I never know if that's going to work in terms of uh, blowing up the boxes or something. They have a fairly focused explosion, but I just don't trust things. Take the security camera bundle. Don't give a lion hoot about it. I mean, I guess the ammo would be useful-ish. I don't even know. I mean, the diamonds, yeah, those are useful. We can turn those into something here. Give you that, and then is there anything else we could do? Like one motor oil. Yeah, we weren't even really carrying motor oil. I thought we were. I think that is pretty good right there. I mean, I guess we could take eight of those guys, the sewing kits, but I don't know what we drop for that. I mean, concrete, I don't even know. It, it truly, it doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm gonna drop those cause I'm never ever gonna use them. They're just annoying. I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong, but I'm never gonna use them. So we'll do that so we can take whatever that was we took in place of it. And then I think we can pretty much call this one good. I'm going to kind of slowly wind my way down, dropping this way because, you know, that's a thing. I'm just going to drop all the way down until we get to the bottom floor where there are a bunch of zombies waiting for us. But I am not, at least at the moment, concerned about them. We'll get out of here. I'll catch you the next one as we go. I don't even know where we're going. Somewhere else, apparently. As we go somewhere else, we'll have to figure that out on the next one. Catch you that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.